The hunchback in the park, a solitary mister, propped between trees and water, from the opening of the garden lock that lets the trees and water enter until the Sunday somber bell at dark. Eating bread from a newspaper, drinking water from the chained cup that the children filled with gravel, in the fountain basin where I sailed my ship, slept at night in a dog kennel, but nobody chained him up. Like the park birds, he came early. Like the water, he sat down, and Mr. they called, Hey, Mr., the truant boys from the town, running when he had heard them clearly on out of sound. Past lake and rockery, laughing when he shook his paper, hunchbacked in mockery, through the loud zoo of the willow groves, dodging the park keeper with his stick that picked up leaves, and the old dog sleeper alone between nurses and swans, while the boys among willows made the tigers jump out of their eyes to roar on the rockery stones, and the groves were blue with sailors, made all day until bell time. A woman figure without fault, straight as a young elm, straight and tall from his crooked bones, that she might stand in the night after the locks and chains. All night in the unmade park, after the railings and shrubberies, the birds, the grass, the trees, the lake, and the wild boys, innocent as strawberries, had followed the hunchback to his kennel in the dark.